Hello friends, welcome to Alankar Pharmacy classes again. In this video, I will explain about the personal records. So stay with me till the end of the video to understand the topic. First of all, according to WHO guideline, good documentation is an essential part of the quality assurance system. The design and use of the documents depend upon the manufacturer. Documents should be designed, prepared, reviewed and distributed with care. Documents should have unambiguous contents. The title, nature and purpose should be clearly stated. They should be laid out in an orderly fashion and be easy to check. Personal records are records related to employees of any organization. These records are maintained for every employee. These records including confidential documents prepared managed and maintained by human resource departments of respective organization. Such information is kept in a particular order. Such records may differ for individual employees, but most of the contents or annexures are same. These records help manager or higher management in decision making, particularly in reviewing procedures and policies related to personnel employed in organization. There are basically five different types of personal records that are usually maintained in the every kind of industry including pharmaceutical industry. The first type of document is employment records. These records may contain application of employment by employee, contact information, history of disciplinary action, a joining letter signed by the employee during joining of the duty, appraisal assessment sheets, assessment of credentials for the suitability of assigned tasks, cases related to transfer, training methods and documents related to progress. Another type of records are the wages and salaries records. These records may contain details of amounts received by employees during service period. There may be some more attachments for example methods of payment of salaries or wages, leave records, the deductions, compensation changes, loan sanction and the records of any other benefits other than salary. Now the third type of records are training record. As per WHO guidelines, the manufacturer should provide training in accordance with a written program for all personnel whose duty take them into manufacturing area or into control laboratories. Besides basic training on theory and practice of GMP, Newly recruited personnel should receive training appropriate to the duties assigned to them. Continuing training should also be given and its practical effectiveness periodically assessed. Personnel working in areas where contamination is a hazard, for example, the cleaning areas or areas where highly active, toxic, infectious or sensitizing materials are handled should be given specific training. The concept of quality assurance and all the measures which aid its understanding and implementation should be fully discussed during the training sessions. Thus, training records are one of the important documents directly related to the performance of employees. These records may contain the training methods or procedures or schedules for the performance improvement of employees. Complete details of training sections, for example, the details of topics of training, trainers or instructors, duration and the trainees attended those sessions. These records may also contain evidence of successful completion of training courses by the employees. Now the fourth type of record is medical or health record. These records may usually contain doctor's notes or prescriptions, patient's history of diseases, associated clinical findings, diagnostic test results, health insurance details, pre- and post-operative care, progress of recovery and received medications. Last type of personal records are service records. These records may contain details of the employee activities, achievements and or accomplishments during his tenure in any organization. Employees of some organizations are asked to submit these documents during joining to HR for better assessment of their capabilities. Now the last topic is the advantages of the personal records. The first advantage is these records provides important information to manager or management regarding employees for example in the case of salary revisions or promotions etc. 
These documents provide help in development of training programs according to the requirements of employee. Third advantage is these documents provide information to government to make policies related to employment or other concerned matters. These documents provide information about the medical history, absenteeism due to diseases or any other personal information required by employer in any other circumstances. Now the another advantage is these records help in matching the available resources with requirements related to production or any other services whenever required. These documents also ensure treatment of employees in a consistent and fair way without any dispute. And lastly, these documents provide information to managers or management for better assessment of performance and productivity of individual or department or any team. So this is all with the personal records, hope all of you have liked this video, so please do share with your colleagues who are in the search of this topic. So thank you friends, thank you.